this is the setup I'm talking about. This is the setup I'm talking about. Trading with the trend. You see, there's a cost over here in 15 minutes time time frame. Boom, boom, Thailand trade. No joke, the market is going up. So it's easier to trade spike here. Meanwhile, when you look back, when you see the cross over here, the two indicators, if you look at the moving average, the two indicators and the moving average, um, when the market is, is rallying below that the indicators, you know that it's a downtrend. So you will uh, sell, boom, here. You will scalp with the confidence. Actually, this is a very good swing trading strategy. Okay? It's a very good swing trading strategy um, that you can simply use. Um, when you look at crash 1000, let me show you quickly what's going on here. 15 minutes time frame. Now, you can see here, you see this crossover and the market went up. See this crossover, market came down. See this crossover, market went up. Okay? See this crossover from here, market came down. Although there was some little pullback up there, the market came down. So it is better you trade, use a small lot size, but um, give yourself a range, okay? You, you could start, you enter the market from here, and then you just be patient to see it go into your direction, yeah. So if you're using the right lot sizes, um, you will not be afraid of, uh, you will not be afraid of uh, putting the appropriate stop losses, okay? Yeah, so, like now, crash here is um, in a downtrend, okay? So, we know that after some time, it is going to spike. And I'm expecting, I'm expecting a, a spike around this point here, okay? Around this point here. Yeah, so I always give myself between 7 to 10 candles when I place my sell for crash. Yeah, so uh, just a few candles for me to enter into a sale order. Yeah, so this is basically trading with the trend. Turn to 15 minutes time frame, see the general trend, and then you look for entry uh, in that trend, okay?